in a palais cookwork in Vienna uh, in an amazing wine bar, which is perhaps the oldest wine which is drinkable on this planet. And it's a lovely book. They have a wine from 1727. It's a Rudischheimer Apostol wine from Michel Brodberg. This wine is drawn from a huge metal cask and the famous Bremen rascal which from time to time is stocked up by young Rudesheim wine of a good vintage. Usually offered in half bottles. Tasting note, this can justifiably claim to be the oldest drinkable wine in the world. The owner is Mr. Peter Puringer and he's in the house tonight as well. Yeah. We rented the whole area from the city of Vienna uh, because we needed more space and during the construction we found one of the biggest ex still existing pieces of the outer walls of Vienna. Uh, you can see the picture over here you can see. When was the trouble in build this wall? Like, uh, this first uh, started building the wall uh, I think 1313. Wow. Mm -hmm. So nice. the very ground floors. Uh, where is that little tunnel close? Uh, nobody knows actually. We we shut it down after five meters. Chateau de Cam, over 100 different vintages, with the oldest at the moment, uh, 1811 Chateau de Cam, which is the most expensive bottle in the house. Uh, this regular bottle is now 82,000 euros. And what's, the, what's considered to be the best year for the Chateau de Cam? 1811. 1811. Where did yeah. old one? Uh, 19, all the seven. Uh, 47, um, 57, those are all. Have you just the 1811? No. No, you wish still. We still have, we only have, I think, two bottles. The Cam itself is one of the most acidic wines in the world, actually. Mm -hmm. So the more acidity they have, the brighter they are, and uh, the more flavor they have. And, uh, mm -hmm. So the younger the, the younger the taste. Mm -hmm. So the maybe the lighter yeah. the better, you know. Oh, that's interesting. This is uh, the French wine cellar. In this French. cellar we have uh, 30,000 bottles. Uh, and it's uh, almost half of our whole uh, wine cellar stock. This is not in our chart. 2000, right? 2000, yeah. Why, why this one is like really rated so high with the money? I mean, like, it's really uh, expensive. Because 2000 is uh, one of the best vintages in the century. Really? What's it? Even that's amazing. <laughs> and uh, the nice thing of Mutual Rothschild, when you touch the sheet, it's a uh, leaf gold. Oh, wow. It's very interesting, but it's a very different kind of design. Yeah, than, than all the other Mutual Rothschild. Yeah. They started with, in 1945 with the design. Yeah. 1940. But before that, they had wines as well, but they haven't used uh, the artists and everything. This is their first uh, vintage, 1945. Uh -huh. But it doesn't, also this doesn't have any kind of, you know, there's not any artist. Yeah, no. the art, I think the artist started 63. Uh, this is 75. And this one is Andy Wall. This is the imperial size bottle of Chateau Montemoreau Child. This is the 2000 vintage, which was just excellent. Millennium vintage. Here we have 1999. Mm. And 1998. And what is very interesting about the 1993 bottle, this is the US version. You don't see actually any picture in there because it was forbidden in the United States because on the original uh, bottle there is a naked woman. And in Europe it was allowed, but in the States, not. And here we have the famous British artist Francis Bacon who has done the 1990 bowl. We continue, it's lots of art. Art connected with wines. What more to wish? 1961 Chateau Petrus mm -hmm. or the Latour. Those uh, are the Latour is about 150,000 euros. True, <laughs> And the Petrus is uh, also around the same, 148,000 euros. This is the paradise for even many billionaires, I think. Ah, I see you have some Cheval Blanc here as well. 
This is 27 liters Rioja Marquez de Murieta, the biggest bottle in the cellar here. Uh, we have also the tastings. The first tasting was a uh, uh, USA brand, so with wines like Holland Estate, yeah. Creamy Heat, yeah. uh, and uh, we had White Burgundy in uh, 1959, all the uh, products from mm -hmm. uh, Premier Cruz, Ruto, mm -hmm. Pamela. Uh, but different, different like I see that the owner here is like, he likes French wines a lot because all of your collection actually yeah. is. He, he likes more Bordeaux than uh, Burgundy. You know, mm -hmm. he's, he's more into Cabernet. Mm -hmm. 